like the queen. Keisha is like the queen of like Easter, you know, live and all. She's so cool. Like she's just so amazing. <laughs> oh my God, I love your makeup, Keisha. How are you? I'm good. I like to let me go on on YouTube. <laughs> well done. I know you know. Always, always. <laughs> so Keisha, thank you for joining us. I've introduced you. I've introduced you. You know, and of course, the business was expert. You know, when it comes to red venue, let us, you know how to help. You know, you, you, even, you know how to give us black clothes, as if I would say. <laughs> and you know how to put us in shape, right? Yeah. So, Tisha, tonight is just about, I mean, the event industry, you know, right? The event industry is, has been one of the, one of, yes, I mean, Apart from people in the event industry, we have the hospitality, of course, tourism, you yeah. know, travel, all kinds. And we're just like, we're sitting here and we're thinking to ourselves, what's the way forward? What do we do? You know? What, you know, the title, people are asking, I'm going to try and pin it, pin it up now, and it says, where is the money? Where is the money? Where is the money now for us in this industry? Where is the money? Okay, so good question. Um, thank you, everybody, for inviting me. Uh, super, super excited to be here. Um, good question. Where is the money? Um, so a couple of people have asked me this question. No events, the events, the um, tour companies, and all these things allow us to package those words and everything. Um, and I'm told, and it's the same thing that we to say here, right there. You have to decide which category you are going to sit in. There are two categories in things that are currently selling. Now, category two are for event planners and event managers who are not in survival mode. Um, right? You can wait it down. We don't know when this is going to be over, but you can wait it down. That option, the second option is you should be marketing. And I'm going to explain. Um, there's, there's money in marketing currently, and I'm going to explain what it is. So there are two types of marketing that you can be doing now. Right? So the truth is, whatever this thing is over, we will still get married. Right? Don't get it twisted. Why are you going to get married? And I know that we already, we had one Zoom wedding in Nigeria. Sorry, we were just so unfair. I'm going to call the old world. Right? And don't get into this 
whole conversation of eh, I don't I don't know how they will feel if I'm marketing. Mm. I'm feeling the eggs that will pay your child's food fees. Yeah. Mm. It's not going to put money in your pocket. So leave that yeah, you're not being offensive. The only way you're being offensive is that will be like, uh uh-uh, what's wrong with Trisha? Mm-hmm. If you want to market, there's direct marketing you can be doing now. Mm-hmm. Direct marketing is when you are putting out stuff, say, you know what? We are Trisha Bees event company, right? We know yeah. that all your events are sold now. But let us start talking about how to get your wedding or your event or cost when this whole thing is over. Yes. Right? So yeah. with direct marketing, you might be looking at, do you want to go the route of, Getting them to book 20 minutes or 15 minutes free clarity sessions or free consultation, consultation sessions, right? Are you getting married anytime this year or, or are you engaged and will get married after COVID-19? Then you need to be talking to us. Book a 30 minute free consultation. Let's see what we can do together or let's get this started on a planning journey. See, I have friends that are going to planning with me. We don't know when to get to us. So you can you can literally do direct marketing and see who is going to jump on your free consultation or even it may not be free consultation, but be reach out to us, we can plan the event. We can give you uh, so now you need to think about what your customer's pain point now. My customer's pain point now is that my earning power may have reduced, yes. so I wanted to do pepper them wedding before, but now I can only do tomato stem wedding. Yes. So I have to come down from 500 years to 300 years. Fantastic. So you understand that many people, it's worldwide, hundreds of thousands of people are losing their job. Those yes. are not of their job. They are paying off 50 percent salary. This month, they are not paying 50 percent salary. <laughs> so. Our income has reduced. Yes. So you want to be you putting those kind of words in your marketing to say, I know you still want to get married. I yes. know that money has reduced. Let's talk about cost-effective ways to give you the wedding of your dream on a budget. Mm, mm, mm. Right? Those are kind of things that you can be putting out there. Let us see cost-effective ways to, you know, to do your wedding or creating ceremony. Yeah. Right, my friends, when somebody gave birth yesterday, another person gave birth two days ago, they are giving birth. When we get out of this, I want to take Christianity, they will do Christianity, and name me, they will call us what's going my food. So, we're still going to have this thing. Uh, so, you want to well, just note what is the pain point now? What are the pain points? What I can think of on this call is the fact that we're going to be looking for budget friendly vendors or budget friendly event companies. Who can put together? So this is where your creativity comes into play. Yes. How creative can you be on a budget? Mm. What, what options can you give me? Now is your planning phase. Sit down and ask yourself this question. Do I need to go and sleep on Pinterest? Do I need to go and sleep on YouTube? Do I need to open my brain and tell all my people to put ideas there? What creative ways or what creative options can you be pro? Can you proper to potential customers now? on how I can still, you know, get the wedding of my dream, um, but it's not going to be expensive or it's going to be under a certain amount. Uh, if before I could afford 10 million, I trust you now, I can only afford 5 million. So what can we still do that will make it unique, right? So that's the second category of people. Um, okay. You want to be marketing, whether it's in indirect marketing or direct marketing. Now, the third category of people, mm-hmm. you don't want to be marketing, you want to go and improve yourself. Mm-hmm. If it's time, you can literally improve yourself. Right? You want to first ask yourself, what are the skills that I need to flourish with all of these people? I was, oh my God, that was going to be my next question. So continue, you are reading my question. <laughs> what are the skills that you need to flourish? When all of this is over, the first skill I'll tell you for free is digital marketing skills. Digital marketing skills. You need to want, learn how to write 
that when we read when we read what you wrote, we look at our phone like wow. Hey. Oh God, we hey. take my money, take my money, take it. Mm. That's called copywriting. Oh. I want to learn how to write captions that I read and I call to my sister. Sister, check the people out. Mm. You mm. want to learn how to write emails if you are doing email marketing. That mm. when we open it, will be like, oh wow, these guys are actually composed and they understand what they are doing. Mm. I want to learn how to write copy that when I see your ad on Instagram, I will stop, scroll back, and read because it's interesting. So that's how you write it. That's the first skill, right? Mm. Now, that's if you want to learn, right? That's the first one. The second one is you can totally learn how to run ads. See? The truth is, Uncle slash Brother Mark has done a million things around his platform that you need to be spending advertising money to be seen and heard on Facebook and Instagram. Mm. Right? The yes. current Instagram algorithm favors people who are paying Facebook and paying Instagram, right? And you show your service or your product to more people. So you, this might be the time where you learn how to run ads. This might be the time where you learn how to create sales funnels. So if you remember the second category of people, I said they should be marketing, where you can literally just do lead generation. You give people a free book on weddings or whatever. And then look what their wedding ideas. Now, when I collect that ebook, what is the funnel? A sales funnel is a a list, it's a materialized marketing activities that you do, they are in a sequence that you do to ensure you get sales. So when I take the ebook, after that, what's the next thing? So you may want to learn how to create a sales funnel that shows you, after Trisha downloaded the ebook, in 48 hours, 10 packages. In 72 hours, do this. And then it goes all the way around till you are able to get Trisha on the phone and do a free consultation that can possibly turn into a crime. That is what a sales funnel is. It just tells us the entire program that we are going to go through to ensure that you convert Trisha, who downloaded your ebook, into a potential client. Right? There are people who actually see sales funnels. Currently, I cannot see. Don't come and find me. I'm, 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 I have to make this. I'm doing right. You are going right. on vacation. <laughs> things 
that's going to the technical aspect of the day. Do you want to go to people like Okola, Eddie Lawani, or Cole, Nelson Jack, all the people who do all the technical things to understand? Now, when you are caught in, when they give you cost, you can defend it to the client and say, okay, oh, it's because we are going to use the five foot riser, we are going to use packers, roving lights, this one, that one, that one. You need to understand, so maybe you need to go out and learn the technical aspect of your business, learn creativity. This may be the time where you learn networking. Hmm. Yes. Because to get clients in your industry, you need to network and meet people and have conversations with people for them to remember that you do this thing and they can refer you or recommend you when they need your service. Because you need to note that you don't sell food and drink. We eat every day. We don't do events. I may, I may not do an event for the next five years. So, but you need to stay top of mind so that when I need to refer somebody, mm. I can refer you. Because mm. this, this business tries on referral. Ask anybody. This yes. your business tries on referral. My friend will come to my wedding. She would love everything. Say, Trisha, who will be your event planner? And there you go. You got a new client. I will have my first child because I like you. I'll refer you to me. So I'll refer you back to myself. I say, oh, the person that did our wedding, I'll call them back. They can do this work. And then it keeps going. My sister will like you. My sister will call you. My sister's husband will call you. Like, it just keeps going. So you need to learn. Maybe this might be the time where you learn networking and relationship management. Do you stay in contact with your past clients? Mm. Or mm. we don't even they've done it to share mm. Bye. Mm. No. How do you keep in touch with me without being a nuisance? Mm. But just enough for me to remember that you exist and when it is time to refer you, I refer you. This may be the time where you learn project management. Your events are always a disaster. Something always goes wrong. Something <laughs> always goes wrong. Oh yeah. my god, they forgot something somewhere. Something like, and then on the event, they look like a mad woman or a mad man because they are running here, Christ is coming here, they shout on you here, you do this. When they like, blah, 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 blah. this will be the time where you actually learn how to project manage, how to cost your events properly. So at the end of the day, when you pay all the vendors, you will not go home with 100,000 naira. After mm -hmm. all, you're running around for two months. What follows you home is 100,000. And in your head, you are doing business, you are doing business, you are, you are doing hobby, you are, hobby, you are playing hobby. Yeah. So, like some of the things that you can be learning if you are in category three. So, those are three things that you can be doing right now. Some of them may not give you money now. Now, they will set you up to give you money when the whole lockdown is over. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
Let me give you an example. I have a videographer he covers he covers I mean he covers trainings, he covers everything, he you know, reports videos and reports videos. And he's been he's been impacted in this instance like the rest of you. Uh, so for instance he had a contract with me to shoot videos for my current ongoing online course, my entire knowledge. And that contract was over 500k. For all the money is gone. Because right now, I have to shoot myself. So I have a stand, I have ring light. I'm shooting myself. All the videos I'm shooting myself, I tend to use to edit. Let him see something to eat. So because he has been editing my monetize your knowledge video, he has been watching it as the editing. So he said, like, wow. He's watching it and he's not getting anything. Yes. He, launched, he launched a class. He's, he doesn't have followers on Instagram. He's not my followers. He launched a class how to, I think, do videos, how to use videos to sell, or like to create, create videos to sell your business. Um, and he sent me a testimonial I posted that he he has never seen this much money in his life in 48 hours. That he was able to get money to pay his rent. Wow. In 48, wow. In 48 hours, he earned money enough to, to pay his rent. So people apparently wanted to learn how to create videos to sell their product. So you can literally be teaching. The Fire Events has launched a, um, their online program where you learn event management properly, right? There are people who are teaching you. So you're a photographer. Teach us how to take product photography. Nobody is really yes. talking about that. Product mm -hmm. photography is how to put my product well. So I put it on the floor, on the bed. Like how do I get the light, the angle, like so. It's left to you. You can totally decide if you, you want to use this point to be teaching. So that is what category. People are people are learning. People are consuming a lot of a lot of knowledge. Knowledge, yes, time. Right. In fact, you can even be teaching people how to start event management companies. But trust me, some people they've lost their job already. They don't have job. Mm -hmm. So some of them don't know it. Some of them already know. So they are looking for what business can I go into while I stabilize myself. It may be what you are doing. So that's another category. But again, please, teaching is not for everybody. I like yes. that disclaimer. So teaching is not yes. for everybody. If you do not know how to pass on knowledge in a synchronized manner and explain what you are saying, because there are some people that are too intellectual to teach it. So when they are talking, you don't understand what they are saying. So they are too intelligent, they are too knowledgeable. And sometimes they are speaking in jargon. Jargon means they are speaking in a professional language that the other person does not understand. So they are saying things like, oh, and so you have to do a sales funnel, so you have to do landing page. You have to, what is sales funnel? What is landing page? Right? So you need to first ask yourself, can I teach? Can I pass out information in a way that the next person understands? If not, yes. this is your report. I'm going to choose one, two, or three categories. Oh, okay. Those are four things that you can be doing to find your money uh, in this industry. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, in, in a few of the things you know that you said today, I think that even us, as we've been brainstorming, trying to think, I think that we've also been coming up with. So I'm just happy that we're in the right, you know, direction. Honestly, mm. somebody asked a question. Somebody has asked a question and says, what is the best marketing strategy that we can adapt during this COVID? What's the best marketing strategy? Is it just the digital marketing that you said? What's the best marketing strategy? Just generally for everyone. Ads. 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 Okay. Ads. But you need to understand where is the ads going? Where are you sending us to? For right now, you will be running ads. Why? One, it's quite cheap now because not many people are running ads. Okay, right. So you can reach more people uh, beyond your 1,200 followers um, with ads. So that's the best strategy yes. that I'll tell you now. Um, you should have okay. you should have ads. Well, please, before you run that ad, ensure you have like a proper strategy. So where is the ad sending them to? Is it sending us to a place where we can fill our details and book a 30 minutes free consultation with you? Or is it sending okay. us to your website so we can read about your services? Or is it sending us to your 
um, low budget packages. Where exactly? Or send it on to the free ebook we spoke about. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm just going to wait for everybody else to come back, and then I will invite Josie of Money Africa to join us. Ha, oh wow, guys, let's. I I, I love it. Guys, how was that? For those of you that are just joining now, can you just tell us? You can just tell us what you, one or two things you learned that's going to help your business at this moment. I'm just going to wait for a few more people. I wait for Money Africa to 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 join us, and then I will invite her in. Now we've learned about making how to make this money, right? We've learned about growth. We've learned about. Um, I'm coming. I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm just waiting for. So see your money Africa to join, and then I'll invite her in. Yes, oh my God, guys, everybody says it was amazing, it was wow. Honestly, I, you have to leave a comment in the comment section when we're done. Ah, you Foma, Foma is here, how are you Foma, how are you? <laughs> you know, so you have to leave a comment in the comment section. I just tell us how it was. Honestly, next Tuesday, you know one of the things that Trisha said, when, when she, 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 she talked, she said something about, what tell your bride, and we're going to have an amazing session tomorrow. There's a session coming tomorrow where we're inviting two of Sapphire brides, you know, and they are coming to come and just give us one or two tips, and I will also be giving one or two tips. Okay. Money Africa is there. I'm just going to invite her in. Oh, I'm looking for her, so I can just invite her in. Uh, do I? Oh, I'm looking for money Africa. So to help me, I'm going to find you. Um, so see the five events. You are you following the, the five events? Yes, just join the five events. Are you here? It's so see, so see if you're here, just say hi to me, please. Request to go, so see of money Africa because we want to learn about investment. So, hmm. We want to learn about investment and savings. Now that we have made this money, we're going to make this money. Guys, you all agree that we're going to make this money.